down that way. Right, we'll head about that way. We'll see if you are clear. I think you may well be correct. We did see some flashing eyes there along this road. Yes, Fergus, you're a genius. I would have gone further to the right and got us lost, as I say, very quietly under my breath again. I did get a little lost today, everybody, and I used the pathetic excuse that I was listening to something um, in both my ears with my earphones, so that's why I became disorientated, which I think is probably rubbish, but I'm going to go with it. You, Rebecca, be quiet about this. Are we in the right place? Yes, I think we are. That's her. Rebecca says she also gets lost very often. I'm not sure I get lost very often, but I certainly do get lost. You would say very often, would you, Rebecca? I see. Well, we'll have words when I return. Okay, here are the other lionesses. That's fantastic news. And yes, as you say, if I remember, and if I can make it home without getting lost. Why am I stopping slow, poorly? Hang on a sec. Let's just get a bit closer. There's no reason for us to be particularly sensitive about lions eating a kill. Big ones. How's that, folk? Um, Christine, you're wondering about which coalition... <clears throat> you've used the term protects this pride. Um, I... What, uh, just go to the left. Oh, the jackals. I thought they were Thompson's gazelles. <laughs> um, Christine, I think it's called the Black Rock Coalition, actually. And I, I think it's two males, but I actually don't know a huge amount about them. So we've got one lioness here. Now, oh, maybe the, others, uh, the other has started to make her way back to the kill. Maybe she's in amongst these bushes. There's a running bird. Can't tell what it is. But only one lioness here that I can make out. So that's good. Maybe she will have gone towards the others. Now, you know, it's quite often that we find lionesses looking for their cubs or looking for their sisters or looking for their pride mates and sort of... And you often wonder, or I often wonder to myself, how do they get lost from each other? I guess we've just watched how it happens. You know, two of them sit on a carcass for longer than expected. Then one takes the cubs away, but the cubs can't make it all the way to the kill, so she stops halfway, has a rest. And suddenly these ones get up and move back towards the kill site, and then, well, then there's nothing there. At least to the den site, and then there's nothing there, and so they walk around trying to find each other again. You'll have to excuse the um, clearly blocked nature of my sinuses now. That is on account of the four kilograms of dust I inhaled on the way down here. That is the black-backed jackal, in case you're wondering. It is a scavenger and hunter and digger, apparently. Looks like Fenton, my father's dog, digging in the garden, much to my mother's disgust. And what bird is that? I mean, it looks like a, it's a lapwing, I think, or a thick knee. It looks... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I can't speak. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. I'm going to try and figure out what bird that is, and uh, we're going to head across to Steph, uh, who apparently is working out his not uh, insubstantial biceps by waving the spotlight. <laughs> 